All right, that was part one of this video. Now we're gonna go into part two, which is gonna be starting with Buchanan Pass Trail up to, I think, Beaver Reservoir. So hope you guys enjoyed the first video. You can see everywhere we went, like I just said on that map. So yeah, let's get started for part two. Stay tuned. Keep it straight, nice and steady. Don't go too fast, because no matter what, you have to hit this lip right here. Okay. Go, go. You're good, you're good. There you go. Keep going. One of the rocks bounced my wife to the driver's side pretty hard. And we bottomed out right there. And we're sliding pretty bad. So hopefully we can get out of here. That's forward. You're in forward.
Here you go, here you go, 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 go. You're on top of it. You're on the skid plate, you're good. All right, now go hard right. You're good. Now passenger, passenger, or driver, sorry, driver. Yeah, you're good. Sweet. Made a quick pit stop at this little campsite. This is awesome, right along the river. Prop the truck up on this little stump right here. Dude, imagine camping here, it's super peaceful. This is awesome. Show you guys how stretched out I am on this side. I even go a little bit, actually quite a bit more with those big old 12 inch smoothies. Go. <laughs> you think you can climb up it? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a good advertisement for a BF Goodrich, those KM3s. All right, Aaron said this is the hardest part of the trail. He's going to go to the left because he's got 37s. I'm going to try to get through on the right. That's actually really chunky. Go back. On. Yeah. More turn. Go reverse. Uh, pass, uh, passenger. Stay there. Now driver's side. Right there, no, right there. Over there, no? You want him on these two? Uh, right there. Passenger, right there. Yeah, straight. Something smoking. No, no, no water. That's good. All right, let's go. We're almost to the river. Wow. <laughs> Aaron tried to get us soaked. Oh, look at. your windshield. The whole thing. <laughs>
We just ended the trail. I don't think I have major damage underneath, but something's definitely hanging or loose because I can hear some clinking going on underneath. I'm hoping it's not a tie rod, but I hear a squeaking getting a lot louder. And we hit a hit a hit like a big. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but something's squeaking. We hit a pretty bad rock part, and I heard a loud. It kind of sounded like a snap on both sides at two different times. So once we get down to the bottom, we'll check it out. But hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions about this trail, let me know. And again, we're here in August. And if you plan on coming here and you've never been here in August, be prepared because it is hot. Pack extra water. <laughs> I don't know what is going on in this <laughs> truck, but something don't sound right. But hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like, subscribe button, and stay tuned for future videos. Take care. So the loud squeaking, this is a couple days after the trip, but the loud squeaking was my stock um, skid plate scraping against my lower control arm after we hit it pretty hard. So I removed that, took it to an alignment shop because my alignment's off and uh, they couldn't do anything because my ball joints on both sides are pretty loose on the upper control arms and my tie rods both have some play. So they want me to take it to a shop real quick and then go get it, get all that tightened up and then we'll do the alignment. So nothing extremely major, which is good.